following is an Outdoor Channel original production. After spending the day hoping to ambush a wild Eurasian boar with no luck, and then a wild night hunting with dogs that starts off painfully for the dog handler. We are forced to hunt with only one dog, with no success. So tonight, we bring in the A-Team. Give him a whirl and... Uh... Go to it, man. Go to it, go. I am Manny Puig. I have spent my whole life learning to survive like Tarzan in the most dangerous and primitive wilderness where you can be killed or eaten. I have learned the ways of giant man-eating predators, deadly sharks and reptiles, where every encounter may spell disaster in the savage wild. I'm having a really tough time trying to ambush a hog in the daytime. So we're gonna try at night. Tonight we have the A-Team. These guys are professional hog hunters that specialize in dog, hunting hogs with dogs. Chet, Manny? Chet. Chet. Frankie, Frankie nice to meet you. It's nice good to, to meet you. you. So um, uh, how are we gonna do this tonight? What's your... Well, our plans are, we're gonna take some cur dogs, original Florida cur dogs here, and we're gonna, we're gonna have them where they find the hogs, we're gonna have them bay them up, and then we're gonna walk in with a catch dog, and we're gonna turn these catch dog, this catch dog loose, and we're gonna catch these hogs live. We're gonna tie them up for you. Um, we're gonna go hunt with the wind the way we need to hunt with the wind so the dogs can smell them, and um, basically go in here and see what we can do about catching a lot of big hogs. Uh, you've had a lot of problems during the day, the moon ain't right. You Whoa, know, there's a lot of different things going on. See this here? Yeah. I got 15 foot range. Good I kill accurate there. range. I mean, so, you know, it ain't like, you know, I was like 30 feet, 40 feet from hogs today, but that's good enough for a bow and arrow or a rifle, but not for this. I had to get really close. Uh, obviously, I picked a very difficult way to hunt hogs. I like the challenge of it, but we need to get some hogs. If I see an opportunity where it's good for me to throw a spear, you know, careful with the dogs, I'll yeah. throw a spear. If not, we'll, ca we'll catch them alive and we'll try to spear some. We'll break it up, you know. Sounds we good. have some people that are really want some hog meat, some families that are really, you know, in they need. can really use it and need. And it's always good to, you know, remove some hogs and help some people out and we get to hunt. It's awesome. It's a great idea. Yeah, people always got to eat, you know, so. I always got to eat. There's nothing wrong with good wild pork either. No, I, I eat it myself. <laughs> Don't get us out. Love it. I, I love, love it. it. I, it's I love better it. than domesticated pork. Yep. All we have to do is you sit back and enjoy yourself and, and get in the middle of it. I'm going to grab. Yeah, I want you to grab. I've, I've done that before. I've actually had one run into me at night. I was watching some guy chasing before and a wow. hog literally ran into me. I ended up wow. getting him in a headlock. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it was not it was the wrong way to catch one. Yeah. But I had like no, no choice. And they go, yeah. oh man, he's got it. They went over there and they got the back legs while I had the head, you know. The dog we have are really good. If they get too far from us, I have a system that's a tracking system that will tell us where they're at, where they're going, and what they're doing. And uh, basically, once you get the hog down, we can get the dogs off. The only thing we'll have to get off and really have to pull off will be the catch dog. And, uh, well, our life depends on them dogs. <laughs> absolutely. This is your bay dog, and this is my buddy Chad's dog. This is Copper, and this is Princess. They're about a year and a half, two-year-old dogs, too. These are the ones that we're going to turn loose that's going to find the hog. This dog here, Butch, is about a four and a half, five year old dog, and that's my catch dog. We have a vest and collar that we're gonna put on him. The only time we use him is when they have him made up and they got him up there, we'll walk in there with him, turn him loose, and boom, it's on. In other words, he's strictly for combat. That's it, he is nothing but combat. You'll be able to see with the vest that I have and the combat that's going on. Warren, can you get me that vest? And I'll show you the vest and some of the scars of what this vest has already done and what it's doing. And here's what some of the things, this is what's protecting him from. Wow. See? These are some of the things, and this is an old one, and I still use it because I've had it for so long. Uh, he's a gladiator. That's this it. This is Shane Mel right here, basically. Yeah, this is the thing. This dog's the only one that's ever wore this vest. 
and these are some of the battle wounds that he went through and they went through the vest they've done it all but he's still been living for three years now since i've had him for three years he's almost a five-year-old dog and he just he's just a phenomenal dog he's got to be very brave <laughs> he had he has so much heart it's unreal and see you'll be able to see the heart in these dogs tonight they that they don't stop oh they're they're like your family i realize that they, they are family this they is your family. your family and your a-team and everything else. A you know? absolutely yeah. you know chad raised these dogs matter of fact this dog come from chad too so we always swap dogs back and forth and uh with his dad and us and all of us and we always do that. We don't, we don't ever run out of dogs. This is a way of life for you guys, you know. We love it. We've been doing it all our life, yeah. all our life. And, this is and it's super, just a, super interesting, very high adventure, man. Oh, it's, 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 this it's is, the this adrenaline you get here is probably going to yeah. be more exciting than you've I, ever seen. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it ain't like sitting and waiting for hours. This is, this is it's happening. I know. Yeah, this, this is, is going to wow. be, it's going to be on tonight. It's going to be on. Frankie and his team prepare the dogs. Butch, the cash dog, will wear a Kevlar vest. It will be Butch's job to physically grab the hog and hold it until I can get to it. This is like, I can't wait to, to be able to retire this vest one day and be able to hang it up. Yeah, that's a museum piece. Yeah, I mean, I've even got the straps cut off of it, but I still use it. Frankie, uh, how would he do going after a hog, one of these mean hogs out the vest? He probably wouldn't be living by now, Manny. Um, he would get cut. These things, this, this vest covers his vitals, his main vitals, and plus we put a collar on him too, and um, he would not be living. He would not live to be a, a five-year-old dog that he is right now if it hadn't have been for this vest, so. This is a very important thing, and you know, back a long time ago, I never used them. It was just a pride thing and a cowboy thing that we wouldn't use them. It's, an, it's a later invention, you know? It's a, it was a latter part invention. I never, for, for, for the last two years, I never used a tracking system. And now I use a tracking system that I never used before. Um, but back then, we used to go through dogs all the time because we didn't have this kind of, of stuff. Dog hunting for wild boar in Europe will back you know a thousand years this Very. is something but you guys have specialized it to this area and you know you guys using the vest you got it down to a, a new technique and a science now yep exactly you got, uh, radio collars you know things that didn't have back then back in yeah the back and, and i'll tell you what the radio collars are a blessing to have um without them you can lose a dog where before years ago when we didn't have him you'd have to sit and wait four or five hours for him to come back if he come back and in swamps, you lose them to alligators sometimes. That's Absolutely. a big, uh, big danger. Yes, I've lost a few dogs to uh, alligators and culverts and uh, canals and ponds and everything else. So um, it's been different. You can go ahead and get him up. You want to put him in that buggy? Yeah, we can go ahead and put him in the buggy. So he's going to be the the one that does the catching. He didn't ruin anything. He didn't. Get up there, you got rope in your pocket, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Rope. It's in the you lead rope. That's you. Bond your butch, man. I got it. That's my favorite. Me, me and Butch get along good. So you got rope in your pocket, right? Yeah, I'll probably okay. get some more here in a minute. This is our GPS system, too, that we have. And uh, this right here just basically will tell you the yardage it's at, if it's north, south, east, west, if it's sitting down, if he's treed, if he's bathed, whatever it is that he is. This thing will tell you everything it is. It can go up to anywhere from two and a half to three miles when you trap them. I don't think we're gonna have that issue tonight, but um, if we do, you know, we won't have a problem losing our dog. So, I say we leave. Manny, don't you think we're ready? Uh, let's go. I mean, let's I, I, I mean, all this talking, let's, let's, let's just go. Let's get it on. Yeah. Let's get it on. I'm ready. Nose up. Watch how she's doing now. She's starting to pick her nose up already. And once you unclip her, you'll watch what she does. You'll be able to do it. But you can see now, this is what she's trained to do. And I mean, you can see, it, it, you could probably drop her right now and it wouldn't be long before you find a hawk. So Manny, you've done, a lot of, you've done a lot of dog hunting? Not as much. You know, I've done, I'm more aquatic than I am on land. You know, I've done a lot of 
water hunting. Right. Like sharks, alligators. I've done some spear hunting for hogs and also a lot of rattlesnakes and that kind of stuff, you know. Wow. Well, this is going to be good then. We're going to hunt this to the right one. That's fine. Let her go. We're starting right here. I'm clipping the dog. We're hunting to the right. We released our trail dog and now we're just waiting on them to see what's going to happen. Um, I'm sitting here looking at my tracking system to see where they're out and they're a little bit north, northeast of us running through here. So we're basically just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen with them, see if we can hear them bay. And then once we get them in there to bay, then we'll go to where their bay is and um, get Manny in there so we can uh, catch this hog and see what happens. So basically right now we're just kind of waiting on the dog to see what's going to happen with him. She's running him, she's right on him. You'll hear there'll be a different tone in the bark. about 300 yards northeast of us. So she's kind of looking right out this way. She hadn't got him stopped yet. It's just a matter of time. See? Are they still running him? Yeah, they're still running him. They're due east of us right now, so they're kind of right behind us so over here in this area. you think right? it's a very large hog or a very strong hog? The way he's, the way he's moving and the way they've stopped him and he's broken run again, it's, it's a possibility it's a good hog very good all so it's just a matter of time I mean they're 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 close they're, it's, it's, it's just they're gonna get him stopped here in just a minute Listen. You ready to move no I gotta put her in the middle okay now they've got him bait the hog's got he's bait now now we're gonna go to him with the dog let's go boys y'all ready hey Chad come up there and help me out quick please the bay dogs have cornered the first wild hog of the night. We are on the way with our catch dog, Butch. This is so exciting. Because these wild hogs are ferocious. Somebody behind me. You're good, you're good. Come on around, we'll get to him fast as we can. We'll get within, we'll get within as close as we can and then we're gonna get out, we're gonna walk that dog to him, man. Right. Then we're gonna keep him calm. The dogs have surrounded a wild hog in the palmetto. We move in quickly. She's right in there. Watch out. Watch out. It's the hog is right in there. All right, turn the kick down. This one, we are going to take alive. So I grabbed the hind legs and pinned the hog on its side. While Frankie and his crew move in to control the dogs. We will bind the hog's feet together so we can safely load it onto the swamp buggy. What we want you to do, I want you to take this top leg here. Okay. Do it like this. You let go of that bottom leg. You ain't going nowhere. Grab, always grab your back leg right here, buddy. Let go of that front leg. You got your knee in there? Yeah. Okay. Let go of that. You ain't going, you ain't going nowhere. Bring that hog right okay, there. Right there. Right there. They ain't good. Right, now. Uh, Put your finger right there, man. Uh, uh, All right, what we're gonna do, Manny, we're gonna get up and flip her over, and we're gonna tie the other side, too. Okay? Okay. Let me get my other rope. Where's my rope, though? There we go. All right. Okay. 
ready? Yeah, get over there. Get over there. Let me get, let me get, get on, on the back. Let me get on the back. There you go. Get, get low and get, get it right in Manny's face. There you go. Bring it, bring it up a little bit so I can get, get up under it. Put your hand back here, Manny, for me. There you go. Look how long the snout on there is. Talk about fast. I just got bit on the thumb. That's a good eating hog, too. Oh, yeah. Real good eating hog. Had a little nip. This is, see, this is a sow. The boar has a really long fuss. They dig all day long. The, the wild feral hogs have a longer nose. Domesticated hogs have a shorter nose and a flatter. The wild ones have a flatter head and a longer nose. And it's for digging and digging in the dirt. Once they're domesticated ones, they don't have all this hair on them. Their attitude is different. And the snout is the main thing you notice. But the meat on, the, um, on a feral hog like this, a sow, this is really, really good meat. Right here, wherever I get this one, it's gonna get really, really good. Hard to eat. And because it's been fed in the wild, the meat has that much better flavor than it's been raised in a farm. We got one under our belt. Uh, we got a good sow. She's probably 150, 160. Good eating hog. But now what we really want to go for is we want to go find the big boy. Okay. And I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to get this one back to the buggy, get okay. it up to where it needs to be, get it out of the way and uh, get these dogs a little bit of water. Okay. And let's see about catching another one. What do you think? Man, this is incredible. What efficiency. Ain't it? I've been out here, so, I tried so hard to get a hog, and I finally got my hands on one. Yeah, and I it mean, was just a matter I've been of out there trying to get, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's much more efficient than walking around with a spear in the woods. Oh my God, this is yeah. the adrenaline, ain't it? I like my spear hunting, but this is adrenaline, high adventure, and you get results. Absolutely, absolutely. It's about 11 o'clock right now. We already got a monster sow down, so the night is going good. We're waiting to see if the dogs find another one. We're hoping to find a big boar, but we don't know what they're gonna find. That's the mystery of this thing. You have no idea what's gonna happen, but uh, I'd love to get a big boar in spirit. We've got the, uh, we're in a different location now, so what we're doing, there's a big, big boar hog that's been staying in this area here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to give him a, give him a whirl and, uh, let these dogs try to work it out. There's a lot of sign around here, a lot of sign. If you'll see, there's a lot of sign around here. The dogs, the hogs out here? The dogs have located a wild hog. Here. Following their barks in the moonless night is almost spooky. But we are closing in on them. We've got a big hog that's got baited up. The other dog got there and broke and run. We've turned the catch dog loose now. we got to get the catch dog back. This hog is in this vicinity. What's happened, there may have been two of them. One may have went this way, but I'm telling you, the smell of this is this boar hog right in this big switchgrass pond right here. So. And then things get a little confusing. The dogs may have split up, going after different hogs. Listen, he's caught. We're all silent. Just listen to the sounds coming from the dogs. Okay. Somewhere them. ahead of us. I heard this one grunting. Is there a dog right there? Yeah, through that road. Thank his tree, she ain't going nowhere. Well, I know tree. It soon becomes obvious 
The dogs are chasing more than one hog. Yeah. We're gonna have to go back this way now, guys. <laughs> we got one tree, we got one bait over this way, so we got to go this way. So we head to the nearest dog. Hunting like this has you running in one direction after another all night. It's not only high adventure, it's great exercise. Well, it's all right. Now what we gotta do, we're gonna have to turn this dog loose. Let him okay. Let him heat him, okay? Just ahead, the bay dogs have cornered a wild Eurasian boar. That's a good haul. It's time to let Butch, the cash dog, do his job. Watch this, watch this. And this time, I will take the boar with my spear. Okay, go to him, boys. Go to him, man. Go to him, good. I got him. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, I got it. Cover. Get out of there. Cover. That's why we do it right here, man. This is what it's about. Got a, it's fat. It's going to be good eating that one, believe it or not. Very well. Did you see how they had him? She just had him held up right there and he wasn't going nowhere. Then you got to see that dog just catch. Right well, I know you told me get on him quick before he hurts the dogs. You have to. All right, here we go. And ready? Go in. Wow, what an excitement, man. My heart was pumping, pumping. I don't know what's happening. Then all of a sudden, Frankie tells me, get ready, get ready. The hog is bait. And then when I got the cash dog, and he goes, you got to get into it quick, real quick, so he doesn't hurt the dogs. And I'm like, you know, I'm just rushing in as quick as I can, trying to stick them before I uh, make sure I don't hit one of the dogs and stick them and end this. But man, second hog tonight, this has been an incredible, incredible high adventure night. If this ain't savage, if this ain't wild, nothing is. Hunting wild hogs at night with dogs, with professional hog hunters, chasing around at night in the dark, not knowing what's gonna happen. You, you hear the dogs barking, adrenaline pumping. This is unbelievable adventure. I'll see you next week on Savage Wild.